what's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. On V103. Time for the Trending Topics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Diva edition. You ready? So I told you the other day that Mariah Carey might be moving to Las Vegas. Take over a hotel. Room at hotel is... Caesar's Palace. Guess who just smashed Caesar's Palace, though? J-Lo! They called it a quote-unquote Vegas residency test. Passed with flying colors on New Year's Eve. And also picked up $400,000. I ain't mad at you, J-Lo. $410,000 to be exact for a New New Year's Eve performance at Caesar's Palace. Plus, she gets some more money on the back end. Basically, um, the show was sold out. The venue got $600,000. Still good though. The point was to see if gig, the, if the gig, the point of the gig was to see if J Lo was a sufficient draw for full out residency. Britney makes about four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars a show with her new contract. We're told Mariah could make six hundred thousand per show. We'll see if J-Lo ends up in Vegas. Uh, another Jennifer doing some big things. That would be Jay Hud headed back to Broadway. Apparently, she already won the Oscar for a role in the movie musical Dream Girls. It's reportedly making uh, and taking the lead role in the production, which will be backed by Oprah Winfrey for The Color Purple on Broadway. Now, Oprah brought the same show to Broadway 10 years ago. According to the New York Post, Jay Hud will play Seeley, who survives abuse, poverty, and racism to become a successful seamstress and pants designer. Fellow Idol grad, uh, Fantasia played the same role when that run started in 2007. So, shout out to my girl, Jay Hud. Now, another diva. Kind of in the crosshairs, where at least her boo is. That would be Beyonce and Jay-Z. Apparently, Mike Huckabee, <laughs> former Arkansas governor, Fox News commentator, suggests in his new book, Jay-Z is pimping Beyonce out. He said it. Quote, Beyonce is incredibly talented, gifted in fact. She has an exceptional set of pipes and can actually sing. She's a terrific dancer without the explicit moves best left for the privacy of her bedroom. Here's where it gets funky. Jay-Z is a very shrewd businessman, but I wonder, does it occur to him that he is arguably crossing the line from husband to pimp by exploiting his wife as a sex object? Watch yourself, Huckabee. Easy. The beehive and hove will come for you. He announced last week he's stepping down for Fox News to exploit uh, a 2016 presidential run. You just counted out the entire beehive with that comment, brother. You ain't getting a vote from not a nair, not a Beyonce fan, you dig? It's going to do it for the trending topic. Smith's any part, head on over to v-103.com. But you can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can say, Ma, did he really say Jay was pimping Beyonce face? Wow. Big Tick does back things on V103.